Welcome to our tutorial on micro front end state management with Redux using NGRX in an Angular application. We're starting by importing create action and props from the at NGRX store library. We define a set username action to update the username in our global state. The action is namespaced with user to indicate that it belongs to the user feature state. Next, we'll handle the set username action with a reducer. We import create reducer and on from at ngrx store. We also import our earlier defined actions. We define the user state interface and the initial state, which is an object with a username property initialized as an empty string. The user reducer creation follows, utilizing create reducer to associate the set username action with a state change that updates the username in our user state slice. Moving forward, we wrap our user state logic within a feature module. We import ing module from at Angular, core and store module from at ngrx, store. We declare a new module, user state module, that imports the store module for feature. We pass in user as the feature name and user reducer to manage the state. This modular approach is key in micro front-end architectures, allowing us to easily integrate this state into specific parts of our application. To interact with the store, well use a service. Here, we import the injectable decorator from at Angular, Core and Store from at NGRX, Store, as well as our actions and state interface. We decorate our user service with that injectable, providing it at the root level for dependency injection. Inside, we inject the store and define a method update username, which dispatches the set username action to change the username in the global state. This service abstracts away the store interaction details from our components. Finally, we create a component to display the username. We begin by importing the necessary dependencies, including component from at Angular, Core, Store from at NGRX, Store, and Observable from RxJS. We define user display component with a simple template that uses the async pipe to subscribe to the username dollar observable stream. In the constructor, we inject our store and select the username from the global state, assigning it to username dollar. This component exemplifies how we can retrieve and display state data within our micro front-end application. 